Hi guys, I'm Dick with my technology today and today I'm going to bring you an overview of the Swift Keyflow keyboard. This just keyboard just came out. First up, you're going to do is download it at the Swift Key website. It's at www.swiftkey.net slash flow. I'll leave the links down in the description later. Okay, there are two versions of this app. It's uh, the phone beta and the tablet beta. Okay, just click the phone one if you're using a phone, tablet one if you're using a tablet. Okay, I've downloaded it. I'll install it now. <coughs> okay, as you can see, the application installs. So, let us open it up. Okay, they ask you to accept the terms and condition. You're gonna accept to use it. Accept. There is the normal Swift key. Okay, first up in the starts in the screen after you install the application itself, they ask you to choose your language. Download a privacy language, let's choose English United States. It's downloading. They say here SwiftKey can support up to three languages. This one is like the normal SwiftKey. Now this is just SwiftKey flow, which can flow like the swipe. I'll demonstrate that later. I'll compare it with a few other keyboards also later. Okay, enable SwiftKey flow, okay. They'll bring you to the language in input settings. So you can see the Swift Key Flow Beta, I have Swift Key Flow there, okay. I have Swift Key also there, Swift Key 3 also got it. And then set as default input, Swift Key Flow Beta. Now I'm using Swipe Beta, I'll compare it later. The typing style, I like to type it precisely, I don't like to type too fast. As personalization, you can. Login or Twitter, Facebook. I don't. I don't. I don't quite like doing it. Okay, you finish it, and let's finish the installer. Okay, guys, I have the keyboard all set up here already. As you can see, the SwiftKey Tree, the SwiftKey Flow Beta is looks the same like SwiftKey Tree. Let's go into settings first. Let's dive in. Settings. You can see leave your feedback, your languages. You can choose your languages. You can choose up to three languages at the time. Um, personalization, you can use your Facebook, Twitter, everything to connect so it will recognize your words more. Your teams, I currently like the, the stock team, the one that comes with it. Lah. I don't quite like changing this. The show form characters, arrow keys, your settings. There are advanced spacebar, as you can go through it later after you try the app yourself. And there is the Swift Key Flow stats. See, I've just started using it so I'm um, not that much, I just tried it up a bit late just now. Efficiency, distance flow, keystroke save, typos correct, word flow, you flow your keywords, words predicted and words completed. See the heat map, they'll show you something here. Gathering all your information, I think the information is not that accurate, I just started using it for a few, few moments only. Heat map, see which one I use most. There is the how to videos here, support and safety about safety flow. Okay, this is a beta version that will expire on January 8, 2013. It's beta version 4.0.0.54. Let's go back. Let's try the keyboard now. This, as usual, the keyboard you can just swipe through the, the space by the type of word. Hello, how do not so used to typing a swift key now. Let's do it again. Hello. How do you do? And you can type one word with just one swipe away. So it's a very convenient way that you use it. And just swipe and as you can see the swipe they have like some magical colors here. It's very nice like I'll change the colors like blue, red, green, I don't know. Okay, let me compare it with other keyboards here. I have let's see, let's do the Android, the Android 4.2 keyboard first. Okay, as you can see, this looks like normal stock keyboard, but you can do this. Hello, the words start forming here as you swipe through. Hello, you can go through. Let me try what you can do through this keyboard. No, you can't do it over here. Okay, that's all. Let's go to compare it with my all-time favorite keyboard, Swipe Beta. I really love Swipe Beta. Have Say hello do do you you feel 
good today. Today. Okay, as you can see the keyboard is pretty straightforward, but the swift key uh, swipe still performs. I personally I think it performs better still. Okay, it's my personal preference. As compared to Swift Key 3, it looks the same as Swift the Swift Key flow, but you can't just flow, you can just type normally. You type here is type very accurate. Autocorrect on Swift Key is still very good. Okay, let's uh, Swift Key Flow Beta as you can on this keyboard you still can type normally like this or you can just swipe like continuous and use both of it lah. Okay, that has been my overview of this keyboard here. Uh, make sure to like, hit the like button, or ask any questions if you want in below in the comment section. Um, thank you for watching and.